Torval and Dean are here dancing on ice returned on Sunday. 12 fresh celebrities are battling it out for the 2019 title. Very good morning to you. Good morning. We were just Lovely chatting in the in the break there about whether you two ever do what we did last night, sit there with a glass of wine at night, get on YouTube... <laughs> Watch play, your best bits. ...and play Bolero. Do you ever play your own Bolero <laughs> quietly to yourselves? No. Never. No. Very rarely. <laughs> Only when we, we come into the studios like this and they play clips and we sort of have a reminisce them. The, the popularity of you two is quite extraordinary. I was, I was saying also that yeah. I've done over 90 of my Life Story shows. You were the second highest rated Life Story ever. <laughs> and, and I think part of it was because people thought we might finally get to the truth about yes. had you ever had the infamous dabble <laughs> which you revealed on the back of the bus. And there was this biopic before Christmas yeah, uh, the drama about, about your relationship. And it is, I think people were utterly fascinated by the chemistry that you managed to produce together. I can, I can just... Uh, what springs to mind right now is the French couple that you worked with. They have an, a magical chemistry on the ice, don't they? And mm. that, I haven't seen that in a long time in any of the other couples at that level. Mm. I think we, you just, know, we uh, grew up together. We met each mm. other when we were nine years old and we've sort of started skating. And we were so committed to what we were doing. We were spending all our hours together, um, you know, on the ice, researching stuff, looking for music. And so that connection mm. over time um, just brings your sphere so when much When you closer. skate together now, how often do you skate together now? Um, less these days. Less these days, <laughs> but obviously when Chris is home, he's in America and mm. I'm here. But um, if we are planning to do a performance, we, you know, we spend... Most days. Yeah, I mean, when you, when you we get together here, on the we're ice, straight onto the ice. So does yeah. it all come? Is it just instantaneous? Yeah, yeah, it's like it's riding so a bike. Familiar. It's, it's, you're back in it. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, Jane can still talk to me with her eyes, and she'll go, "No, not doing that." Not doing really? that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> or what are we doing? <laughs> I want to ask you about dancing on ice uh, because two things came out of um, Sunday. Firstly, is James Jordan too good? He's a trained Absolutely dancer. Not too no. He's had to learn to ice skate. Lots of criticism that actually he already had a massive advantage. I wish you no. could have. Well, you, they did show some, some clips of him when he first stepped on the ice, and he was hopeless as anybody we've ever seen before. He was. He couldn't master it, and I was, was really wor worried for well, him. Well, he was worried as well, wasn't he? He's yeah. like, I don't think I could do this. But yeah. I have to say, his competitiveness yes. and his desire to want to win yeah. um, is front and centre. And I think we're going to see something quite extraordinary as the series progresses. And one other thing, Gemma Collins defied people's expectations. Does <laughs> her performance show that anyone can ice skate? Well, I think she... I mean, she probably had doubts herself initially, mm. thinking, oh, a bit like James, this is too hard. But she's put the work in and she made it to that first show. And very entertaining. Even I yeah. tuned in yeah. watch that. <laughs> and I can't ice skate at all, so I've got huge admiration for anyone that does this. It's great to see you both. Thank you. Uh, best of luck with the yeah. show and, obviously, the Thank tour, you. I guess, is coming as well.